I'm going to get this recorded. Okay, I want you guys to think about the word literal. What does it remind you of? I heard some murmurs. Who's willing to raise a hand? Go ahead. It reminds me of literate or literary or literature. All of those things have to do with like being able to read. Am I right? Literal equations are things that we basically read. And we're going to start off with an example. I want you guys to draw a rectangle. And we're going to label it with length and width. I always like to do the cursive L so it doesn't look like a one. What do you know about formulas that go with this? If I put A equals, what do you guys want to put on the other side? Area equals length times width. There's another formula you guys may not know by heart, but you know what it means. How would I find the perimeter of this shape? Go ahead. That's how you first learned it, isn't that true? Add all the sides. But then didn't you learn a shortcut later where you can multiply the two lengths and the two widths and add them together? That's called a formula. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So a formula is an equation that states a relationship Oops. between one quantity and one or more other quantities. So think about what I wrote up above. Area equals length times width. That A, that L, that W, they stand for something. They stand for the dimensions that we have for that shape. There's our two definitions. A literal equation is a formula where letters represent both variables and constants. I'm going to pause you because this will be on Classroom and you guys can go catch it up later. What I want you to write down right now is a literal equation that you know. Distance equals rate times time. This is the formula. We know that if you multiply rate times time, you get the distance people went. <coughs> or a car, or an airplane, or a train. But because literal equations can represent variables and constants, constants are just numbers. So what if I had a word problem where I had a friend riding her bike to visit another friend? And I told you that the distance is six miles and the time that it takes her to ride it is 30 minutes. The question is, what's her rate? Could we use this equation to find it?
The problem is right now, the equation equals the distance. What we want it to equal is the question that we're looking for. So I can rewrite this equation as distance divided by time equals the rate. What I did is I took the fact that the rate is what I want to know, and here it's being multiplied by time, so I divided this by time. Really, I would have done it to both sides, yes? yes. Because time over time would be equal to 1. That leaves us with just the rate. 